Hello, fellow humans. So here's a story for you. We really, really need to think about this overt sexualization of children. All of this, we're earlier and earlier and earlier making them think about and accept as part of day-to-day -day life overt sexuality and using sex as recreation rather than procreation. We've completely forgotten that the point of sex is procreation, not recreation. Okay? So here's a story about a little girl who was regularly left with a slightly older alpha male at the breakthrough of the sexual revolution where adults were being completely f***ing irresponsible about the way they were going about their sexual freedom. Even though people still believed that children weren't sexual beings and we were supposed to keep them from exposure to this stuff. So, little girl, little alpha male, starts seeing things. What do alpha children do when they get ideas in their heads? Especially about stuff that grown-ups do. They find children to work it out with. That they can manipulate and cajole. Okay. We are talking about children engaging in things like masturbation. We have websites teaching them about porn literacy and anal play and fisting and all sorts of, you know, adult stuff that kids are going to try and mimic. And we're actually encouraging them thinking about this stuff now. And when I was 15 and I actually talked about my experiences as a child in school in a group I was directed to therapy where I was then shamed for the fact that I realized at that time that my perpetrator was as much a victim because of exposure and and circumstance of neglect really adults not being responsible about and around children and sexuality. And I could not hold him responsible for damaging me because he had no idea whatsoever what he was doing. And when he came to sentience and realized that person has had to live the rest of their life with it. They're as much a victim of this over-sexed culture as I am. And generations since have been, we have all been groomed. Okay, selling toothpaste by showing people making out on TV in the 80s has morphed into talking to six-year-olds about finding places to masturbate. Six-year-olds should not be encouraged to masturbate. Not because it's a needful sin, but because it actually starts to set you up in a, an addictive trap. Okay, you were, we're, we're taking a physiological process that is there for procreation and we're treating it like it's a toy we're going to teach the kids to play with. You wonder why in Canada, anyway, there's an average of 74,000 abortions a year that are, by the way, publicly funded. How many tax dollars is that, people? Think about that. We're literally funding people's sex lives. And we're balking about having to use cars less and, and 
the farce that is carbon tax offsets and stuff like that. It's just so much poppycock. Let's get real, people. There's so much that's just been nothing but self-indulgent fantasy in North American culture my entire life. 50 years of watching this crap. And now everybody's going, oh, well, you're going to take away my car. Oh, well, I'm sorry. If you hadn't used it like a weapon against nature because you want and it's more convenient and forget about all of the people that you're exploiting and crapping on because you just want to be somewhere faster. People wonder why I'm angry all the time. Thanks for listening. Narrative bullshit. It's propaganda.